Hi everyone, in uh, today's class we are going to see how how to design a mixed signal design or how to have a setup for the mixed signal design if you have already one for to run the netlisting and simulation using uh, Cadence Virtuoso Schematic Editor as well as uh, with the Hierarchical Editor. In the previous class, we have seen how to simulate the schematic or how to create the schematic in Virtuoso Schematic Editor and then how to create a symbol, then how to bring that uh, design into a analog design environment and then to run the simulation, right? So, yeah, in, it, in uh, today's class, let's go through the make signal design. So, as usual, so you need to have a red design database. So, that will have a CDS dot library, also the virtues so in your path. Those you can see in the description of the video. Now, let me start the virtues so by typing virtues so minus log CDS one dot yeah. Right. Okay. Well, so this will bring the virtuoso CIW window. Then once it is up, go to tools, library manager. Then we have created this library. I showed you how to create the library in the previous uh, class. Then we created in an inverter tool and uh, inverter to test. So in this class, so we, we already created, so I have created a mixed signal test cell and uh, there are two views and the schematic. So let's uh, inv investigate what is there in the mixed signal test case. Double click on the schematic, it will open. This will have a DC supply and there is another DC source which is connected to the input to node and there is an output node which is connected to the uh, resistor, then there is a buffer. Okay, buffer, you know, the buffer is consists of two inverters. And if you descend into the inverter, so you can see T channel and N channel inverter. Okay, that we designed in the last class, right? So it is connected in series. So this will make a buffer and it's connected to VDD and VSS, right? VDD and VSS is connected to the, the power supply. So then um, so what we have to do is this we need to create a config all right we need to create a config for this uh, schematic so what you can do is press this one to file new cell view and select uh, file in yeah. You can create from here as well. File, uh, create, or you can do the file, new, cell view, and the type you have to select config. Okay, config. So then open with the hierarchy editor. This is a new tool um, where you can have a view name as a schematic that creates a view name of config. Click OK on this one. Then which view we wanted to select is a schematic. How to use a schematic view to create this config. Then let's use the template. So we, there are various templates, but we are going to select AMS, right? It's a cadence AMS. Then automatically, once you select AMS as a template, it will, it will have a view list following default view list. Stop list as the, as the specter and the library list as my library. So we don't have my libraries, so we have a demo. I mean, enter in demo. Make sure that the library cell and view is correct. Okay, and click OK. It will show up the HED, right? Then what you have to do is you have to do check and cell here, then file, save. If it is required, there are two. Previews, previews, one is tree view, and another is a table view. So, in the table view, you can see this, this is the top level schematic. 
system, right? So it's pointed this, this, this top level is chromatic. That have an instances, the I0 and I1, there are two inverters inside the I7. This is I7. Now, see, if you, if you click, it, it, will, it will show each and every instances. I7, it will, it's going to highlight, right? It's R0. And uh, if, if, if you descend into this one, you will see two inverters. These are the two nodes and it will show up here. It's a cross uh, highlighting these instances. So this is this is a hundred percent anal digital circuit because I, a very long screen was there. So if you open this one, this is the text view, right? This is the text view of the inverter instances. You can see the assign statement y is not equal to a okay so what i'm going to do is change one of this one to schematic okay. schematic will have a two instances to go here this is p channel and then channel you can see here m0 and m1 are two n instances so now what you can do is Yes, you just go to the top level schematic. Then, so this is called the X signal. So one is uh, schematic, which is an analog, and uh, the other one is a very log, which is a digital. And, and there are three primitive instances R0, V0, and V1. You can open the ADL from this end, right? So, I will show you how to create a very log view, okay, later. So, first let's complete this simulation. Then, as usual, make sure that you are the design. There are two views, right, config and schematic, but make sure that you are, you are selecting the config and uh, cell name signal test, okay. Then, variables, copy from screen view. Have any variables? Yes, five volts, right? V VDC is five volts. V input is five volts that we have seen in the previous class. Then let's say currently EMS uh, design supports only. Okay, let, let me see. Yeah, we have to select a proper simulator which is EMS, which is already selected. And so currently, not all the analysis are supported, only transient DC. AC noise transfer function and stability. So currently we are going to check only the only the transient analysis, right? Then let's make output to be plotted. Select on schematic, let's plot input, output, and also add the mix signal boundary where analog connects the digital, right? So these are the, then if I am running the transient analysis, we will change the cell name to V pulse, right? V pulse, uh, then voltage 1 is 0, then period is, let's say 2 micron, delay time is 100 nano, then rest time is 10 nano, and time is 10 nano, and pulse width is 1 micron, right? One micron period is micron. It's okay. And you have to do check and step. Then there is one more additional setting. There are two more additional settings. You have to set up the model level because we are using uh, one cell. This one instance of four, in one of the inverter is schematic. So it uses the uh, that uses the Model file. So what we need is my model is not SCS, right? Click OK. Then go to it's one more setting. Uh, it's the connect library because the when there is a boundary, right? This is a boundary between I zero and I one, right? I zero is a schematic. This is a schematic 
this is uh, digital. So, so we need a connect model that will convert analog to digital. So, when when it is reaches to five volts, it is a one. When it is zero or ground, which is this is going to be a zero. So it has to switch between zero and one. So that's why we have to specify this a connect model. So which connects between analog and digital boundary. And there are various advanced setup is there like you can set up R out, rise time, fall time, and the show voltage. We don't have to worry about that now. Click OK. Now the setting is done. So, so make sure that your simulation is AMS, okay? Not any other simulator. Then go to simulation. At least we create. It will create a mix signal netlist, right? Yeah. So then you can you can view the netlist netlist display where you can see how it is netlisted. This is netlisting in very long dot waves file format where you can see see the you know the buffer and you know there are two inverter inverter one and inverter i1 and i0 i1 and i0 two inverters at least and uh, within the and there are all other resources are also net listed then there is a global signal and uh, the 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 variables this VDC will be also netlisted. So, so currently I can netlist this design, but there is no license to run the simulation. So it will it will, it will run compilation elaboration. Then so this is the output. Okay, and you can see this it is compiled. Then it is elaborated using XCD, but it's now licensed to simulate. So this is how you can simulate in uh, mix signal. Okay. And uh, and one more thing is you can you can let's say you can make uh, this one a little more complicated, like you can have a very log. Here view as well, like a uh, system very log. I can add another. Let me delete this one, then copy. Okay, and then we can add another instance. Oh. Connect this here and VSS here, right? Then do check and see, right? This one is not connected. Let's go to screen another. Okay, all right, that is done. Then come to the CD. I will carry it. Can see one more. One more uh, buffer is added. So this one, let's say, this is very log. This not is schematic. This one you can make it as extra, right? So like that can bring a lot of complexity. Very, you know, very number of higher. You can, you can decide. Now let's say how to create a very long view. Let's say this one. This is a you know to do schematic right now you go to file create cell view from cell view so in order to then select let's say very log um very log uh i would say yeah i would say very log not very log editor i would say very log editor okay then i'm going to create a you can queue any name very log or function it doesn't matter okay Click OK. 
this will create uh, this will so only thing is we have to add as a statement there okay this the only thing is okay so as a statement z is not equal to a right so these are the port uh, name y is the output port a is the input port and we need vss are the input ports so that is a uh, that is it use the code declaration then parameters it is adding vh vl eth and all oh, there is those are the default parameters then i am adding this one then do check and sir right which is just checking so so now you can see one is system reload and another one is demand and this one is very long Actually, if you make a change, is this one very long and this is very long. This also becomes very long. So, for that, what you have to do is you have to mark to click on the uh, uh, the the occurrence binding. Okay, only the occurrence of this I wanted to uh, system very long. Okay, not the other one. So. In that case, see, this this remains as a system very long. This remains as a very long. Okay, the other two remains as a schematic, right? Yeah. And yeah, and then one more thing is you can you can you can mark this as a functional, right? Like there are three three types of views: schematic, very long, functional, system very long. So this this speaker you can register here. Then sing it. Yeah, that is that's all uh, about uh, today's uh, class to show you how to do a setup for the mix signal design. Okay, it's very simple, and you can run the simulation. Okay, and you can verify the waveform. Right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my class. Bye-bye.